If this 16 year old can figure out how to implement all the self improvement habits that I've talked about so far, so can you. Alright, so I'm gonna just jump straight into it. This is Jacob. He's my cousin actually and he's going to tell you guys about some of the self-improvement habits that he's implemented into his life and how he's done it. Yeah, we just decided to try something new today. I figured I'd join them because I really like this idea. Right. It's it's awesome, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a great go. idea for you guys to try out. Encourage me a lot, collabs. definitely. So, as I was your inspiration, what were the main habits that you ended up implementing into your life and what difference did they make? Okay, similarly to my cousin, uh, mainly NoFap and taking cold showers. Those are both big game changers for sure. Really, really are. So what's your NoFap streak right now? <laughs> well, uh, currently, like in about two weeks from now, it'll be like seven months. I believe. So this 16-year-old kid is on a seven-month NoFap no streak. Just put that into your head for a sec. Take that into consideration the next time you fail. If this kid can do it, you can do it too. So, what has that done for your confidence level and how do you see yourself compared to how you did before? It like definitely clears my, my mind a lot better than in the past. Like I was so fixated on girls, especially over quarantine. It was, it was kind of a little too crazy, but I'm glad I was able to sort of uh, take it out of my life. and to focus on bigger things that are important currently right now. Interesting, so being on NoFap made you stop caring about girls as much. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I still I still kind of do care about them, they're very important. Well, why, but, why, what would you attribute that change to? Why did you change your mindset? Okay, basically, when you think about it, when you're not on a NoFap streak, right, and you don't really care, you're kind of like giving in to a uh, all those supermodels out there, kind of like worshipping them a little too much. Right. That's how I think of it. Oh, so 100%. I figured like that was one main reason why it sort of had to stop. Okay. And what are those big goals that you've been focusing on since you started your streak and even before that? So uh, I just want, I want to like become a, a good athlete for my school and just maintain good grades and really express myself more than I've ever done before. Right, so those are some great motivating words from Jacob here. What would you say that cold showers have done for your mindset? Oh, the cold showers, they just wake me up. I'm like on point and all. Right from the morning, right? Yeah, exactly. What time do you have to wake up in the morning? Like for uh, school? For school? Yeah. Around like uh, 6.35. Right, so that's that's super early, right? Pretty much. And pretty you early, jumping yeah. in that cold shower at 6.35? Well, technically, when I was taking the cold showers on school days, I'd have to wake up 20 minutes earlier. It takes time. It is really difficult to do it on school days. Sometimes you hesitate even going in there in the first place. And right, all. but as long as you jump in warm and end it off cold, that still counts as a cold shower. That's even true, Even though it's yeah. not like a full cold shower, it still has the same effect because you're waking yourself up, you're getting your heart pumping, right? Of you're course, feeling the yeah. heartbeat. And then you're ready alive. to take on the yeah. day. And yeah. once you get over that, wouldn't you say it's easier to go through the rest of the day? Because that's For such sure. a hard task right in the morning. Yeah, right. definitely. Like, uh, you're, you're way more focused and determined to get, the, get through the day and all. So you'd say it benefits your focus a lot? Definitely it does. Interesting. It just keeps it me awake. your mind. Yeah, and right. I feel good. So back to those goals that you have for yourself. Why don't you talk a, bit, a little bit about track and what you've been doing with track at school? So the track is interesting. It all started with my friend like just introducing the idea to me. At the time, like during quarantine, there was no real way for me to exercise. I figured like I'd try running. And turns out like uh, I was sort of like, I'd say naturally talented at it. And I figured like I could go for track or cross country, either one. So I did. And that ended up being like one of the best decisions I've made in a while. Like being in like a cross country group, it's so wholesome, like more than any other sports team I've participated in. And it was very good for my mental health, I'd say. That's great. So yeah, if you guys have like the option to do any sport, obviously it serves the same purpose of uh, as working out does. And you might even gain like 
some community from it, which might be lacking in your life right now. So definitely venture out, try something new, and you might meet some people you like. So just out of curiosity, what is the main uh, workout like routine that made you as big as you are today? Maybe the one exercise that made the biggest difference. One exercise, okay. It's it's kind of like a contest between one and the other, but okay, I'd say let's hear them both. pull ups. Pull ups oh. and dips, those two. Dips from a bench or dips no. like freestanding dips? No, actually, like, you know those gymnastics rings? Dips oh, from them. Explain to them what that is. All right, so basically, like, uh, one time I saw people working out with these rings. Interesting. Like, uh, they were able to do some pretty cool stunts and moves on them. And, you know, m me and my dad were there. We figured, like, it would be cool to try it out myself. I tried them out when I was at the park, and it turns out, like, I was able to get the hang of it. And we installed them, and ever since then I've been working on them. And doing dips from them especially, like, gets you huge. And having the balance, it's, like... The results were crazy, crazy fast. Yeah, yeah. we might even include a picture if you feel comfortable. But <laughs> sure, yeah. Definitely, once you guys get those high calisthenic numbers for pull-ups, push-ups, and dips, that's when you guys are gonna be seeing pristine gains. And I don't mm -hmm. think I'm quite there yet, but I think Jacob is closer to that goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you guys, you guys can definitely do it, even at a young age. It all. It really all depends on your motivation and discipline. Yeah, so, I say like the younger the better, of course. Right, of course, yeah. the younger the better. I wish I started working out younger and making videos. I said in the previous video, mm -hmm. if I never stopped making videos, I would probably have like 10K subs by now. Think right. about it. But, nev but better late than never. Right. right. Yeah. Well, it's not even that late. It's I'm not, only not at all. Years old. <laughs> we have plenty of time to, to keep moving. But back to you. <laughs> How are your eating habits since you started this whole Sigma mindset? Okay, so when it comes to eating, I've never had too much of an issue with it. I, I, I can say though, I've always had a sweet tooth for chocolate. Like, I mean, you can never go wrong with chocolate, I gotta say. But recently, like, uh, you know, I've, I've been eating it like during the night. Like, I thought having a dessert was okay. Like, uh, I'd allow it for myself, but like, now that I think about it, having it before bedtime kind of keeps you awake. Not the best idea, but I still have it every now and then, just in the mornings now. And I sort of uh, stopped eating it like after dinner at night. Right, but besides the, the chocolate, how are your eating habits as a whole? Oh, in general? Yeah. Honestly, really good. Sometimes, like, I d can feel really hungry, and when I do that, I literally, like, stuff myself with apples. It's the best thing I could do, right? so right? That's, that's a super healthy option. For Sometimes everybody. I go crazy with apples, but, yeah, but it's good. Eating a lot is how you get big, right? Of course, yeah. Yeah, and if you guys want to gain muscle, definitely, uh, Definitely eat a lot, and you will literally have your body will have no choice but to gain. Yeah, yeah, and like I also remember even before quarantine, I did used to eat a good amount of chips, you know, snacks like that, more well, on the since, junk food side. You since toned that down, right? Well, for me, I can't really tone it down. It's either I do, I either cut it out or eat it or binge eat it. I know? honestly feel the same way about all my habits. Either I'm doing them every day or I'm not doing them at exactly. all. Exactly. There's no like in between. So this is all. a great point right here. You have to build a routine, right? Exactly. Yeah. In the beginning it was harder to like maintain discipline, right? And once mm -hmm. you built up that skill, you were able to do these things every day without even thinking about it. Yeah. Because it just became part of who you are. Sure. So, like uh, sometimes cutting stuff cutting bad habits out of your life it's easier than you think like once you do it you may realize like uh, you're achieving it relatively easily yeah and you might also realize that these bad habits didn't actually bring you as much satisfaction as you think they did right yeah no they didn't in the end like uh, it's more satisfying knowing I was able to cut them out of my life honestly that's a great way to end the video <laughs> and with that I think we're gonna we're gonna tap out here but definitely if you got if you guys want this guy back on the videos definitely stay tuned leave a like drop a comment yeah and make sure to subscribe of course of course listen yeah. to the man himself hit the like but button do all that <laughs> just remember guys keep moving forward I literally can't even turn my head right now I'm not even joking around I'm gonna make a <laughs> video about this soon if you guys want to uh, hear about that stay tuned to the channel but 
This is Jacob and Michael signing yeah. off. Thank yeah. you for watching. See you later, guys.